Welcome back. Um, it's raining and it's Sunday, so I'm gonna look like this today. <laughs> I should probably fix my hair though. Um, I wanted to share um, the items that I really liked for Jimmy um, and what I feel like is pretty minimal but still helpful and a little bit budget friendly. We didn't really plan to get pregnant so soon and we definitely kept money in mind in preparation for our pregnancy and the birth and having the baby. I wanted to share things that I feel like are pretty minimal. When I was making my registry, I just felt kind of overwhelmed and confused and wasn't really sure what to put on there, what my friends were going to get me. They didn't have babies and I just didn't know what to put on there. So I just wanted to make a video that could be helpful and if you're somebody that's maybe like our family where we didn't want to buy every single thing that we saw but we also wanted to be really well prepared um, when the baby came which we were by the way because she was a month early but thankfully I had ha already had my um, baby shower <laughs> I wanted to kind of do it more of a like walking around vlog style because I feel like it's just more interesting than sitting down and watching people talk about products so let's get into it so this is like our i don't know like our extra spare bedroom so there's kind of like a bunch of things in here and i actually listed all of these things on marketplace to sell so i wanted to go ahead and do this video before i got rid of these things so i bought this secondhand it's missing the overhead um but basically the baby sits in here it's nice and soft and it's secure if you want to strap them in I never did because I mean Jimmy's just now starting to move around and she's almost eight months um, this comes on and it has music and vibration which was really soothing um, and then the more that they move the more it kind of moves on its own or you can push it if you're sitting on the couch or whatever um, I felt like this item was, I felt like it would be better in theory than what it actually was. So she didn't really love this. Um, she didn't really like to be laying down. I think for our next baby, I would like to get the upper baby. Um, but for, this was literally $20, you know, it worked for the time being. This bumpo was also something that we were gifted. I put this on my registry. This was really nice for when Anton was watching Jimmy because he would prop this up in his office and set her in here, um, while he could get stuff done. Um, I liked it, but I don't know if I would recommend it. Um, just because I've heard it's not the best for like the back development and I felt like it was kind of useless. I mean, we used it like once or twice. So on to the baby swing. This one is like a Fisher Price. Um, it could be Graco. No, I think it's Fisher Price. It's like a very normal, um, gender neutral swing. She definitely used this a few times but it wasn't something that she loved again. Again, Jimmy really loved to be um, on me. I feel like the swing didn't really do it for her. Um, again, I would maybe get one that goes back and forth because I feel like for Jimmy, that was a motion that she preferred rather than an up and down. I just got, had a feeling that it just was really uncomfortable for her to, I don't know, do this. So yeah. This one, but I mean, swings are amazing and a lot of babies love them. So I would recommend a swing, um, but I would do a little bit more research on and pay more attention to a baby. This was a gift from his aunt, so we didn't pick it out. Um, yeah, maybe next time I would do one that was uh, this way motion. Moving on, I bought one of these. This you put into the shower like it folds up, you put it in the shower or you can put it in the sink. Most people put it in the sink. This one was hard for her to kind of 
sit in i think it works a little bit better if they can sit up which i feel like defeats the purpose of the bath i wanted something that wasn't going to be plastic because i felt like when there was areas where i didn't need to be need to buy plastic i didn't want to um and i liked it but it's kind of a hassle because after the bath i would have to like wring it out really well hanging up in the shower to dry so it's kind of an eyesore in your shower and then i would like have to like put it in the dryer wash it in the washer and dryer because it gets kind of dirty because it gets like soap scum and everything else on there so i don't know i don't again i don't think i would use the sunflower again i wouldn't put it on the registry or buy it so this thing I actually found at a thrift store for 10 bucks, which was such a steal. It's a Graco um, bouncy and it just clamps at the top. You need um, a little bit of width here for it to clamp onto, but it's like a little spring and it's adjustable right here. And it's really nice. It has these, which she absolutely loves. To play with um, and she gets in it and bounces up and down and it's really cute and it's really kind of compact so you can put it in the closet when you're done but I feel like the tray keeps her from hitting this because I've seen a lot of um, like jumping jollies or jumping jack I don't know what it's called but I feel like they don't have the tray so you have to put pads here and for this I didn't have to do that so that was really nice okay I have my ring light set up because I have to jump up and pull this and I broke the string but anyways this is like the extra um, little walk-in closet for this room and this is where I put all of Jimmy's like old things and things that we've used this was you can't see but this was so cute it just like sets up like this and it has little danglies and then we have a pink mat that we would put down and jimmy would just lay under this and play with this and she loved this anything that's like above baby's heads they just have a ball and my uncle actually made this Thank you, Dean Amanda, if you're watching. Um, he made this for me, but you can find these on Etsy. So I would highly recommend one of these for sure. The next thing is these boppies. I was gifted two of these. And my best friend who is pregnant now gave me this one. So I'm probably going to give this back to her. Because I think that would be so precious for her to have it. I don't love the shape of it i think um oh, snuggle me the snuggle me organic company um makes some of these that are a little bit smaller and more narrow um here and i love that shape but i think they're a lot more pricey so you can find these pretty much anywhere um highly recommend this if you're going to be breastfeeding or even if you're not breastfeeding and you're just bottle feeding because it just goes like this and your baby lays here you can go this way you can feed um, like football style you can feed you know long way style it's awesome love this thing this you have probably seen i mean i feel like it's a huge thing um in recent years this is the snuggle me organic it's a lounging pillow that comes with a really soft cover well it doesn't come with it you have to pay for it but the baby just sits really nicely in here and they make the most beautiful colors. They're a really amazing company. It's organic. It's a small company. I mean, you're supporting a small business, which is always amazing. I'm pretty sure it's women owned. And uh, yeah, this thing is the bomb. Um, unofficially, it is a co-sleeper. I know people have really polarizing um views about co-sleeping so take this with a grain of salt um, but we did we did choose to co-sleep and she slept in this for a really long time she was a preemie so she fit in it for probably up until 
last month and she's almost eight months old so i would say six seven months is when she outgrew this and she took all of her naps in here um, we put it in the center of us and we slept together um you know we would leave it on the couch she could sleep on the couch um it's like a little portable bed and we loved it it's awesome they can also just hang out in it if you're not comfortable letting your baby sleep in there you can just give them a toy they can play a rattle whatever and yeah like it's just it was awesome i love this i would definitely um buy this again it's awesome and it washes really well everything's removable stains come out all that stuff i have this which is a mattress pad that also comes with a cover that you can buy and it has a strap system so you can put them in there and strap them in um, I used this a lot in the beginning when she was a newborn, but I probably stopped using it around five, six months and just started doing it on the bed. Whenever she had blowouts, it was so nice to have a different station to lay her down because um, you know that whenever you lay them down, it's going to get everywhere. So having a designated station for changing the diapers um, to me made a huge difference and uh, yeah, I would highly recommend that mattress like changing pad um here we have this elimination communication i wasn't going to talk about this but if you've read about it um it's a really amazing kind of uh idea um i mean it's been around for forever but it's kind of starting to make a comeback um, i'm probably going to start using this again soon we just could not <laughs> make the time for elimination communication this is a baby infant potty and I think she used it once or twice and it worked she used it well um, but you really have to commit to this and we just recently have not you know wanted to prioritize this so but this is amazing to look into if that resonates with you um this is <laughs> my pump in style this is the one that they send you home with the hospital in at my hospital they give you two options one was a little less expensive and then this one was the more expensive one but it was still covered on your insurance so but i think if you have a different insurance it costs like a hundred dollars or something but it's the medela i really like the medela brand it was the easiest for me to use and i felt like it worked really well um, I didn't use all of the accessories because I just pumped at home most of the time. But yeah, so I kept this. Um, the tube goes in here and then that plugs into the wall. And it's really easy to use. Um, I would just keep this by the couch so I could sit on the couch and pump. That was nice. Milk storage bags. Always a good idea if you're going to be breastfeeding. Um, yeah. I would recommend that if you plan on breastfeeding. I started to drop, which was about three months. I started using the uh, Modella hand manual pump and I loved that. That was like my best friend. Um, I would still use it today if it didn't break on me, um, but I definitely would buy another one and will be buying another one for our next baby. Um, it was awesome. You didn't have to like stand in a certain position. You could move around, be comfortable. You don't have to like sit so still with like all these tubes. Um, and it was great. You can control how fast it needs to go or how slow you want to go, the suction, all that stuff. And it's really easy to take out and about. So I would highly, highly recommend a manual alongside of your electric. Yeah. So as far as like bigger items go, oh, a couple more things. <laughs> yeah this baby so this is the Graco um two-in-one stroller and car seat it's like just a nice gender neutral color and it's for infants but it goes until like i think 32 pounds is what the car seat is for and this hooks in here really nicely and there's a little tray for when they get a little bigger it's a very budget conscious uh stroller and car seat i think my this was a gift on the registry as well but i think they got it on sale for 250 which is honestly a steal for a car seat and a stroller 
Um, the car seat snaps into the base of the car really well. It's not a really heavy car seat at all. I feel like it's pretty easy to tote Jimmy around. And yeah, the stroller goes over the grass well, the road well. I don't know. I don't know what to say about strollers. The only things that are annoying about the stroller. Okay, let me put this in here so you can see. So this like snaps in really well and that's it to put together. So this comes up and then this comes up. And that is what shields the baby um, in there. This doesn't stay the easiest like together because if this is all the way up this way this has a hard time like wanting to stay up and there's no clear cutout for you to just really easily peek in there and see what's going on and your baby can't see what's going on the other thing is the cup holders aren't very deep so whenever we're going like like whenever we're walking and going around and we're pushing this our drinks just slosh around um yeah so we usually have to like lift this up over a lot of bumps or take our drinks out throughout our walk to like to get over a hump and then put the drinks back in because it's just not very deep and i was looking at my um, mom friend's car seat when we went to the zoo last week and her car seat like cup holders are so much deeper than these and she doesn't really ever have that problem so something to keep in mind this is pretty deep this isn't a big area it barely fits my phone like my phone kind of goes like this over the top um, so this is kind of a useless spot so we end up putting our phones keys wallet and stuff like under jimmy in here which isn't the most convenient and then the only storage space is literally right here and that doesn't i mean fit hardly anything if we go grocery shopping um we have to like keep it to like two or three bags maximum my diaper bag doesn't fit in here fully so i have to like shove it in um the harness can go in there and that's pretty much it so yeah this just isn't a lot of storage if you're somebody that wants to take a lot of walks with your baby and run errands and things like that um like we do we live in a city in a really nice like fun area neighborhood so we like to run errands and get a bunch of stuff all at once uh, we just can't really do that because the stroller doesn't allow us to so i would look for a stroller that has a lot more storage and yeah what else am i missing um this stuff the alafia brand this is kind of getting into random things but the Alafia brand chamomile is amazing. It is literally the best smelling baby stuff ever. I would use it on my own body. It is amazing, so I highly recommend that. The last thing I wanna show you is my diaper bag. This is Cotton Key. It's from Amazon and I actually really like it. I feel like it looks good with most outfits. And it's just a backpack like this. So you can see. And I feel like it looks cute. It's not huge and it's not tiny. And I added this little guy from Amazon and a little hand sanitizer from H&M. But I keep her binkies. And stuff in here and then the two side pockets I would usually keep like a bottle when she was younger now I'll put like my wallet or my phone in here now my sunscreen little things like that and then <laughs> the inside opens up really nicely I have her changing pad which I highly highly recommend one of these it's really loud outside this opens up to um, a changing station you can put diapers cream wipes whatever you need to up here i don't because i keep them in my diaper bag so it seems kind of redundant um, but i do use this all of the time um 
so yeah these are really nice i think it comes in a striped one as well um at target that's where i got this one this is skip and hop and this opens i don't really know what for but it does so and it clips on so yeah really love this because bathrooms are gross and people don't make stations for moms to moms and dads to clean their babies booties which is really unfortunate um yeah i have books in here i'll keep um like personal hygiene items in here i kept my breast pads in here when um i was waking a lot i have outfits diapers wipes it's very very deep and it opens up really well the only downside about this diaper bag in particular is it's not a one hand close because of the shape so you have to kind of two hand it which can get you on occasion um yeah it's not easy to close and you definitely can't close it when it's already on your back which I found like I needed to do sometimes. Um, but yeah, it's leather and it wipes off really well. I think this was like 40 bucks, which to me was really good for this. And it's just not, like it doesn't scream I'm a diaper bag. So, I like it. Anyways, there's a lot of different things that I didn't mention. Maybe I'll make a part two if I can think of anything else. But as far as like bigger items, these are the things that I recommend and some that I don't. I hope that this was helpful. And there's obviously lots of other things that you need. Clothes, diapers, wipes, you know, all that stuff. Um, but one takeaway from this video that I hope is helpful is that I was so anxious when I went into labor because she was a month early. We didn't have anything set up and I didn't have all of my stuff together. I was missing a lot. And when you have your baby, like they really don't need a lot of things. And I, yeah, I'm grateful that I have what I have, um, but it's not all a necessity. Babies just need food and love and a place to sleep and clothes and diapers and yeah everything else is just extra stuff in the car seat if, you're, if you have a car um but yeah other than that like we use youtube for white noise she has a little stuffed animal that my nana gave her that has a white noise setting we use that for a while um yeah there's ways to get around certain things so anyways hope you enjoyed this video and there's gnats around me and yeah, I'll see you next week.